Hey there, my beloved family of light and divine love. Well, <laughs> here it is, another light activation meditation from me. I didn't do one in a while, probably since last year, when the 2012 began and the gateway has opened. And ever since then, so many things have changed. It's like the whirlwinds are just blowing intensely and a lot of the people are finding themselves at places unknown and beyond their scope of human understanding. So besides making my regular video updates, Ascension reports, and uh, all that I can do as your Ascension Guide, I was really called to do another of my light activations to basically support the releasing, pro releasing process that is happening on the planet in the collective. And so releasing the old and embodying our soul. So our soul frequency, our soul signature, becoming our soul, fusing with our soul. So, like I said, everyone on the planet is right now releasing something, you know, in a certain part of their lives. But it isn't about that part particularly. Everything that we go through, whether it's a relationship, whether it is um, a situation, whether it is something that, you know, kind of triggers us to see something that we've never been confronted with. And it feels so brand new and like we haven't been there and we don't know how to progress forward how to move forward so every single thing is about us it's about our soul it's about to that shift that basically turns us inward so we're all kind of healing holding you know this original cause that one first separation from source which basically you know when souls become individualized source aspects you know these essences at the beginning of their birth it might seem like Wow, you know, we are separate. What now? <laughs> so this per first perception that, you know, this is so, this is a, a way of separation may come into existence because of that. And souls experience that on their journey. And then once on a the, certain point, they want to return back to their source. And um, when souls become these individual source aspects, um, when they're bor born anew, they kind of, you know, wish to explore everything so um while venturing out in the, into this new world of unknown but the most important part is that at a certain point they also wish to return they wish to once again remember and this is now happening on a very global scale to be embodied someone wrote to me today and said um that you know it is always good to remember which we already know essential pioneers that when someone is um disrespectful to us or not within the same alignment or integrity or truth of source when they're not aligned with their source when they do not open to to be the vehicles to hold the space of divine love and to embody the divine love essence it's not about us personally so it's our ego that does that it's not their soul and i said of course i agree but there's an important aspect here to be addressed because we're coming into times when it's no longer enough, when we just keep saying, okay, you know, we, we will just see the divine in person. You know, it's not important what their lack of awareness does. It's their ego. So let's just love the soul because we already are this love on a soul level. But why we are here as humans now in this era, especially because of the shift that the awakening is so intense, is that we also come to understanding that this is not enough anymore. We're all called to embody our soul. We're all called to go home, to return home here and to remember what home truly is, what it truly represents, where home truly is anyway. A lot of people are addressing this shift from many different levels and many are speaking about, you know, thoughts create. It's all about the mind. No, it's all about the pineal gland. It's all about, I don't know, emotions, you know, transcending them. But basically it's about everything. But the most important aspect is, you know, because in the old age that was, you know, for me, the new age to previous new age is already an old age because we have stepped into a new frequency. It's our first ascension year, beloved ones. You know, it started with the 2012 gate, gateway and it started with the opening to these energies that started coming into our planet and within all of us on the equinox this year, 2013. So, like I said, it's a new time, it's a new dawn. So that old, you know, that was more focused on, you know, getting to open to your spiritual selves. And from there on, you know, a lot of people said, okay, now what? Now, what do I do with it? When I know that I'm a spiritual being, you know, embodying this body, what do I do? 
you start embodying your divine love essence you start embodying so like i said it's no longer enough to just say okay our soul is infinite abundance infinite peace infinite joy infinite radiance it's not enough anymore because this is us this is here you know we are the blissful creatures that have come to this experience in this time particularly where there's a galactic cosmic multiversal shift happening on all levels of time and space so we're called to go back there to remember who we truly are so those souls who are ready to make this transition not just to say yes as a soul i am all of this but are ready to embody this to embody their soul right here and now and if you're guided to watch this meditation, you do know that you're one of those souls. If you feel the calling and the longing, you do know that you're one of those souls. So because there's this huge transition from, you know, um, so much talking about the spiritual and, you know, many teachers were talking about, it's, you know, it's about living in the now. And basically a lot of the people were going like, okay, we do get it. We were reading books. We were doing all of that. But now what? How do I be in the now? There's a lot of questions arising in this era. And there is support and we're shifting step by step and there will always be support continuously but what is important now is spiritually and then on all levels you know descending upon into our lower frequency which is the body we need to address all these as one as whole and to become our soul so to become this individualized always blissful always abundant always radiant always loving compassionate essence here in this body so the question arises here is okay how do we do that how do we merge the spirit and the physical? So the new age, how would I say the new, new age, not the old new age, which was focusing only on staying up here, but now we're grounding it down there, down here. It's called physical ascension. And basically it is like I've been saying more about descension than ascension. It's both, of course, but it's all happening in divine timing and the divine plan of perfection. So this stage right now is the most important part of the ascension experience how to, you know? So this is what I wanted to make this light activation to see what comes through. I don't feel it's going to be as long one as usually. I feel this introduction section also has codes of light and information for all of you to just merge into your being if you're only aware and only wish to accept the light of truth into your hearts. And it is all about the heart. You know, when I'm saying these words, I'm just being overflown by this amazing bliss that I just can't explain. And I, I start feeling tears in my eyes because, you know, whenever I do have that, I know it's truth. It's just coming home has never felt so more beautiful. And that's why a lot of us are feeling this need to break free from all that is not our, you know, natural home vibration. There was a lot of people seeking themselves. They were trying to search for themselves and they found out they cannot because they're here. They were always there. And the more you try to search for yourself, which was, again, the part of the old age, the new age. <laughs> I rather call it old age because it's done and over with for all of us essential pioneers. But now we realize in seeking yourself, you can never find yourself. We can only remember who we truly are. And we then recreate ourselves continuously as all creation does. So it's about coming from that circulatory movement, going in circles, repeating old and old, you know, same old, same old stepping out of it and into the spiral because it's all about a spiral and this is what i've been talking about lately a lot and i feel we have so much support all we need to do is be aware of our co-creation state of being who we truly are as co-creator beings and step into that so we basically need to claim our frequency we need to take this beautiful essence we need to claim it it's already there we don't need to find it it's not finding it in going to india or certain retreats or um whatever you know to these sacred spots that exist for their purpose but you are your own sacred spot you are your own vortex you are your own heart of the soul and light of your being you're unique, you're an individualized soul aspect of source and within all that is, you exist. Can you believe it? Can you understand how magnificent you are? And in this tiny body, we now get to embody so much of perfection of source. So I wanted to do this introduction maybe a bit longer to kind of speak about the things that were really laying in my heart recently and especially since the latest full moon on the 27th of March that followed the equinox, which wow it was all of this was just really amazing and the energy kept building up it's like you know the more it builds up the more you want to be free and it's just like bursting out 
And this is a part of the embodiment of our soul. Sometimes it might feel unpleasant, you know, like the butterfly be before it's truly born. It seems like it's, you know, where, where is it? It doesn't know. It's like searching, you know, grasping its way out. And then boom, this is how ascension feels like. It's like this process and process and unveiling and unveiling and integrating and integrating while we are anchoring, you know, all of this, all of us. And then all of a sudden pop. And we're birthed at brand new as we truly are, but also recreating ourselves because creation is never the same. Everything always changes with the flux of all life. So everything is basically really simple when you think about it. And um, what I would like to do here, you know, because I feel a spirit is telling me these words that I've been saying now, and it's about the energy that came through me, which was very intense. I, I kept heating up. And like I said, tears of joy coming into my being and into my body. You know, crying is an uh, is a chemical reaction. So you basically are getting it all there. We're 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 transcending this chemistry, the human body's full time chemistry, and uh, we're moving into this next stage of our chemistry. We're building it, refining it, remodeling it into something beautiful. What we wish to create, and in this era, everyone will become who they magnetize. You know, what we embody, we will become. It is all about the embodiment. Do not forget this. So instead of a long light activation, like I said, this was already codes coming to you, to all of us from source of all that is. I would like to focus more on just calling and inviting these energies in. Well, we will be also focusing on just seeing the old, not going, not deleting, not cutting the cords with it. Because with just cutting the cords, you're not coming into awareness of what, what was. Because, you know, a lot of people say present moment, now moment and deny the past and say it's not important just being the now but the past is a part of that now moment it's all one it's all integrated in the future as well that is why all timelines exist here and now once you embody your full divine potential and aspect it is all inside and you are aware of it it always was but you're just you're just getting aware of it that's the that's the difference in this so i would like you to just you know <clears throat> sit down in your sacred space wherever you are even if that is behind your computer, it really does not matter. And to just start with a one deep breath <clears throat> or maybe get something of the old out. <clears throat> Cleansing yourself. These are intense purging days. Take one deep breath. With full lungs in and with full lungs out. And just feel yourself. Just internalize, and if so guided, also externalize, that you know how to shift between your environment and yourself. And also feel oneness with all that is and this breathing that you're now doing, connecting to source. Breathing is being. It's breathing your source essence. And within this oneness, also now become aware by internalizing of your individualized soul aspect and call it forth call your soul forth and now we will say the following new words as they will come through me sourced by my own presence and the divinity within the realms of illuminated the truth it's my home and it's your home if you wish to if you embrace and follow me as we intend on these things and on these sacred vows and words of intention. My beloved I am, now I call forth thy name and thy vibrational essence. I am ready now as I ever will be in this now moment where all timelines merge and meet as one to embody my fullest source essence, my fullest soul potential, my highest divinity aspects. I am willing, I am ready, I'm devoted, I am committed to being and embodying my full self. All that is divine, all that I desire for myself or for my highest perfection, my highest life, I first embody myself by magnetizing my I am, 
I magnetize all that reflects me, and everything in my life becomes a complete and utter mirror of my soul essence on all levels and layers of being. As I am fully committed and devoted to this, I already feel this huge divine integration taking place. And I look above with my internal eye vision. I see myself floating up, meeting and reuniting my beloved with my beloved I am presence and calling forth through this decree all soul aspects within that I am presence because my I am presence is all, is the rainbow, is the diamond shining core crystalline presence that I am. And within this, I fully now see the descent of my I am presence that I have been integrating for so long on this journey of ascension. Now I see it spiraling downwards through all of my body templates, through all the meridians, all the chakric vortices, through this entire sacred space that I am, and through this body vehicle that has its own magnetic resonance and chemistry. I feel it unfolding all the way down and directly into my root chakra, my basics, my basis of living here on earth so that I transmute and transcend all that is still there, that is unaligned with my true essence, like all the fears of survival, of support, of trust, of money, of everything, of being at the right place at the right time. All the basic divine principles are hidden within this. All the basic divine principles of survival I wish to call upon them now to govern my life and experience. The new principles, not the fears of the old self matrix, but the new crystalline and through my beloved I am and the soul aspects, all the multidimensional aspects kind of being. And that is what I now call forth with all of my heart. Only through the heart this can be. So there needs to be a full opening of our beloved lotus inside of us, of our sacred chalice. So let us invoke the presence of the Divine Mother, the Divine Feminine aspect within all of us, so that our Father aspect, our light, can integrate within us. And we feel them now as they spiral downwards, in our bodies, meeting with one another in our very own base chakra. So we align with our higher self, with our highest divine potential, in our lowest of the form that we exist now in. So we invite our highest divinity to come into our lowest, the densest physical reality that we exist within. We see this as a beautiful archetype of a beautiful life pattern intertwining there is a space the feminine, the masculine, and creating the third energy while integrating it directly into our very most utmost physical experience that we can imagine. And now, in feeling this, we envision the highest life in you reality for our new ascension life and living. In this moment, for this to be true, we raise our hands upwards. We open and extend them like a chalice so we can receive because this is the receiving position. We call upon all the angels that guide us, that support us, all of our ascension team, our highest potential ascension guides and mentors and ascension guides here that are with us on this planet, also embodied, incarnated in physical vehicles. We feel all the support of all the benevolent, benevolent beings that are here with us during this journey, guiding us, supporting us, loving us. 
We invite them into our field. We see them coming in. We know they do not interfere, but they cheer leading us on. They're our assistants, they're our companions. So while we're reaching our hands upwards, we are drawing forth now. We kind of see ourselves pulling this energy thread of our golden crystal in nature. And we see ourselves, you can do this many times with your hands, you pull your new soul matrix directly plugged into the Earth's crystalline matrix so that you're aligned with the higher transitional energies the same way as the planet that you're incarnated upon, this beautiful planet called Earth. And you can continue to do that. Just draw forth that golden thread of your new soul matrix, your new soul blueprint that you will continue to recreate over and over again to your highest aspects of your highest soul nature and evolution. As you deeply feel this, know that all that is the old of the old matrix, of the old, the old patterns, the old beliefs, the old way of relation, relating to others, the old way of dealing with things, situations and people, all is dissolving now as we are simply integrating our new soul matrix. We are embodying our soul fully once and for all as we deeply look into our new life. And as we feel this already true and fully integrated and activated, we see ourselves in complete abundance, in complete radiant health, in harmonious aspects and relationships and communities and corporations. We see ourselves as fully joyful, always creative and playful, doing only that which our beingness is governing us, embodying the feminine and the masculine in perfect equilibrium. We see ourselves sharing new spaces, new ideas with those that are close to our heart, that are matching our energy signature, that are walking this path of our new ascension year. We invite only the most benevolent experiences as we simply watch all that is of the old being dissolving, transforming, transmuting with love, not by force but simply because that is the natural law within the principles of creation. We see ourselves as perfected light human beings, existing and fully accepting our rightful power, wisdom and love through compassion, spiritual integrity, maturity, assistance to others and selfless service. We're always where we need to be and we are sharing our energy with whom it is meant to be at that time. And all is perfect at all times and we are always aware of it. We are simply living our fullest nature of how we wish to express ourselves in every now moment. Only through the aspect of our true source nature, our soul. So as we see everything of the old dissolving and dissolving and dissolving, we see that there is nothing else but divine love. And we know that all the experience which we wish to mirror and we wish to reflect back upon into ourselves are those of divine love and that nothing is not of divine love. We simply become divine love. Breathe that in. Know it is so. And just be. So there you go, my beloved Ascension Pioneers. 
whatever came through needed to come through as always. I hope you enjoyed this activation and experience and I'm wishing you all so many beautiful endeavors in your new life. Remember, you can always choose a new, you can always shift, you can always choose divine love as your direct source embodiment experience. I hope you were able to share and feel as much energy sensations as I did as I was sourcing this. But if not, you can continue to come back to it because it can come also in layers. Remember, we're each in our own timeline and uh, evolutionary path. So take as slow as you need to. Be as patient as you can with yourself and always trust that everything is unfolding for your highest spiritual potential of your soul and within all things, of course. So, wishing you many blessings in your path. I hope you will share some of the things during the coming weeks and months with me and Ascension Pioneers as to what you're experiencing in your life that is totally brand new. What are the ventures that you have never thought you were experiencing, but now you are. And what courage you have implemented within you to free yourself from all that is of the old. What new endeavors you have taken upon. All the new undertakings. And I just hope that you will have some time to share with us and um you know the community of essential pioneers and um take care you know i'm hoping to do another one <laughs> as guided so i love you all very much stay in your source <laughs>